Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how we can analyze a stock in under five minutes. I'm gonna try my best to keep it under five minutes. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. I mean, you do have to look quite a few numbers and make sure you're picking the right stocks. This isn't something you should do in five minutes, but you can use this as your basis or I guess your platform to then build on and go more in depth in the company and it will make your stock picking much easier. Let me know in the comments below what metrics you guys use to find your own stocks. And also let me know if you agree with some of the metrics that I have in this video. If you think they're useful if they're not and also let me know why that is so the first thing i would do is i would go to a screener so for example you could go to finvis.com and then you could click the tab that says screener and then you can go where it says all and the first thing i always do is i like to look for companies that are based in the united states so i go where it says country and then i click usa and then for the sake of this video let's try to find a, a mega cap stock so we could uh we click mega cap and then after that we can enter some key metrics that we're interested in so let's say if you wanted to have dividends or if you wanted to be in a specific sector if you wanted to be in the s p 500 uh that sort of thing so let's i want my stocks to be in the s p 500 so where it says index i'm gonna click s p 500 I want my stocks to have a return on investment of over 10% and I have I want my stocks to have a return on assets over 5%. Once you do that, there's going to be a few companies that show up. One thing that I like to do is filter it by market cap from the highest to the lowest. So I click where it says market cap twice and it'll, it'll, it'll assign the stocks by market cap. So for the sake of this video, and again, guys, if you want to add other metrics here, you can. So for example, if you want to put gross margin positive, you can do that and it'll keep filtering out the stock. So for this video, let's go ahead and pick, for example, Meta Platform. And then here you can see some information on the stock, but we're not going to use this. We're going to head over to Yahoo Finance. Once you're in Yahoo Finance, you can go ahead and click the ticker of the company and type it on the search bar. And then you click search and it will show up. And the first thing we're going to do is head over to where it says financials. And then we're going to balance sheet. And then we have to make sure that the company's financials are in good connection, right? In good condition. We got to make sure these are healthy numbers. So the first thing, does the company have more assets than liabilities? As we can see here, it does have more assets than liability. Another key factor that we can look for is if the operating cash flow of the company is increasing year by year. And as we can see as well on this image is increasing year by year, went from 36 to 38 to 57 billion and is now at 54 but then again the year just started following that we can go ahead and see if the operating income for the company is increasing and is increasing as as we can see sorry for the stutter operating income has been increasing year by year which is a good finally we have to look at the total cash compared to the total bet to the total debt of the company so as you can see in this case meta has 41.78 billion dollars in cash and they only have 26.48 billion dollars of debt so basically this company can decide i'm gonna pay my debt today and they can't and they'll still have of their money left in cash so that's a great thing for a company it means that in bad times or something like a recession they'll have enough funds to keep business going and probably even pay their employees and not cut off workers i know a lot of um technology companies are doing that now but something like this could help in the case that it ever happens again in the future following that what you can do is to see if the company's valuation is uh, worth it is it under value is it overvalued at the moment how you can do that is you can head over to simply wall street you type in meta as you can see here and it'll pull up the, the company's information you click where it says valuation you scroll down and as you can see meta is 10.7 percent on the value the current share price is 136.98 and analysts are expecting it to reach one 153.46 also once you're in simply wall street you can head over to where it says uh, on the valuation tab you can head over to where it says the return on on capital employed which is all the way down and then as you can see here we want this to be at over 15 or 20 percent if you really want to make sure you get your profits 20 percent is a good number but i like to keep it at 15 percent uh what return on capital employed is basically uh return on capital employed is you can it helps you understand how much profit the company is making from the capital is that it's using so in hindsight let's say if a company is using 10 million dollars to operate how much of that is profitable so therefore i think that a good number over a good number would be over 15 or 20 percent and then finally one thing that i love to check and i love to see is that a company is being bought by huge entities on their portfolio right so goldman sachs investing firm blackrock fidelity those types of firms that are managed by huge that are backed by billions and billions of dollars if they're putting their money here is for a reason so how you do that is you go to cnbc you type in the ticker of the company you head over to where it says ownership 
and then you can scroll down a little bit where it says top institutional holders and as you can see meta is being bought by the van or hold i guess you could say by the vanguard group fidelity blackrock and t row these are all huge investing firms so if they're investing in meta it's for a reason these people do not like to lose their money can they be wrong yes but that's not the case most of the times there you go guys that's the end of the video if you enjoyed it please leave a like also consider subscribing if you haven't if you have any other metrics or any other way that you pick your stocks please let me know in the comments below i would love to hear your opinions so that's it for today thank you and i'll see you on the next one